Hello and welcome to our channel again. This is another video in 11 plus maths. This is about arranging in order. A very popular question in 11 plus. We have, they ask you to arrange few numbers in order. Okay, the numbers can be mixed. They can be all over, all different types. So first of all, before that we move on, we're going to be working on these two keywords, ascending order and descending order. Okay guys, if you know what this ascending and descending order is, I would like you to write down in your book and we will compare the answer with me in a second. Right, ascending is ascend as in going up. So this is smallest to the biggest and descending, you can compare this with going down, D for down, D for descending. This is the largest or the biggest to the smallest. Okay, so once you know this, then you're ready to do the questions, which tell you, they give you a certain set of numbers. They ask you to put them in order and ascending or descending. Okay, so we start with question number one here. Okay, then the first question, we got four fractions and we have to put them in ascending order. That means I'm looking for the smallest number first and then going up to the largest there, guys. Okay, as you see, all the fractions have different denominators. The step one is, people, you have to make the denominators equal before you can compare the fractions. Numerators don't matter at this stage. So the number where two, five, four, and 10 all go into a bigger number, a multiple, okay, or lowest common multiple, you can do, use the methods you've learned before, or in straightforward terms, look at the biggest of the numbers, find its times table, 10, does two go into 10? Yes, five goes to 10, yes, four goes into 10, no. Next number in 10 times table is 20, does two go into 10? Yes, five goes into 10, yes, four goes into 10, yes. 10 goes into 20, I mean 2 goes into 20, 5 goes into 20, 4 goes into 20, and 10 goes into 20. Yes, so 20 is the number we're looking for. All right, guys, so I would like you to do that for me. Please write all these fractions with 20 as their denominator. I'm going to give you a pause. Okay, so once you've done that, we reach this stage. I'm pretty sure you know this. 5 goes into 24 times. That's why we times the numerator by 4 as well. So you can see 4, 5, 6, and 10 should be the answer. Numerators become important now. What do we write? It's the answer is the original fraction. So this is the smallest. We write 1 fifth, 1 quarter, 3 tenths, and half. So this is your final answer in ascending order. If same question was to ask you to um, put these fractions in descending order, you've just written them in different order. Okay, reverse order, I mean. Question number two now. Okay, the second question I've got for you is the fractions again. This is, that's why it's 1B. And the fractions are mixed numbers now. Guys, once again, ascending order. So if you want to see carefully, what you can do is you can compare the fractions by changing them into improper fractions. Or the clever step here is just check. This is one whole, one whole, and one whole. So we can just ignore these holes here and work on these fractions, which are the proper fractions there. This fraction is the highest, isn't it? So this will come in the last place. So be two, three, and eight. So I'm gonna be looking for three more fractions before that. And what I'm gonna do is, people, because all the whole number parts are same, I'm gonna ignore that and work out what is the order of these three fractions using the same method. Okay, so seven tenths, one half, and four fifths, seven tenths, one half, Four fifth gives me seven tenths, five tenths, and eight tenths. So five come first, then the seven, then the eight. That means one and a half, then seven, one and seven tenths, then one and four fifth, and then obviously two and three eighths is already placed there. So this is how we put them in an ascending order. Okay, the next style of question is when you have to compare decimals. And since we've done two ascending orders already, so I've decided to do this in descending order. Descending order, gentlemen and ladies, we're going to find out what we're going to write down these fractions in downward orders or going from largest to smallest. Okay, so how do we find out which decimal is largest over here? Very, very simple, guys. You're going to do what? If you have time, you can write all these fraction decimals um, above and below each other with decimal under the decimal, keeping the place value very carefully. Okay, and then what do you do is, 
you fill up the vacant spaces with zeros. Right, so you start comparing as you go from left to right. All the whole number parts is zero, so I can't compare. This one is one and two. This is zero and zero. So two smaller ones are these two, zero and zero. Now from here, that's a five next digit, that's a seven. So this is the smallest one. So 0 0.05 is the smallest. This is the next one, 0 0.073. So you've done these two, now we're looking for these two, which is smallest, one or two? One is smallest, so 0 0.1, then 0 0.23. Guys, you can easily avoid this as well, you know, if you have your place value concept very clear in your head. So you just check 0, 0, 0, 0, no comparison, 1, 0, 0, 2. So see, these two zeros are smaller, in between them no comparison then five and seven so five come first seven comes second then it's one and then it's three so we will move on to next question in decimals now okay then similar question so if you want to have a look we will write them in descending order again let's say so looking for the number which is the biggest one zero a whole number part zero 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 i can't compare first tenth place zero 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 and zero i can't compare zero, 100 plus five, four, and four. So five is the biggest, 0 0.05. So I've done that, okay? So I'm looking at the uh, thousands place, okay? So five, then there's a four there as well. Okay, these two, so 100 place still. That's a four, that's a four. We check the next one over here. So three, next one is three, can't compare. Next one is seven, next one is six. So this is 0 0.0437. And then 0 0.04365. And the last one is 0 0.009. This is the descending order. I've written these fractions in descending order. People in the first one, even though I said descending order, but you, I've realized just now we're looking at it, they have done this in ascending order. Is that right? Let me check. Okay, that's the smallest. Then, yep, this is ascending order. Okay, so look, um, I have made a mistake here so this is a good chance to explain to you read very carefully and always check your answer back it's very easy to make this mistake because you know both of them but you don't realize while working on it which order they asked so always check the question then match up with the answer there okay we move on to the next set of questions now right the next set of questions are when you have numbers given the mixed form some of them in percentage fractions and decimals what you need to do is, guys, you need to change all these into one form, either all in decimals or all in fractions, okay? Um, it's really a matter of preference, but I would advise, if you can, change them into decimals if possible, okay? Let's see, let's change all of them into decimals. You've seen these videos before. This should be 0 0.5, 0 0.42, 0 0.8, and 0 0.6. If you do not know how do we change fractions to decimals, check my previous videos. You divide one by two, divide three by five. And once you've got that, let's write them in ascending order this time, okay? And work it out and check your answer with mine. Right, so I'm pretty sure you would have got this answer. Or people have got this answer, but guys, I would advise you again, this will not be accepted as a correct answer, even though this is right, but you expect it to write answer back in the form of the question. So 0 0.42 was given to as 42%, 0 0.5 was given to as half, 0 0.6 was given to you as 3 fifth, and then the last one was given to you as um, 0 0.8. Right? This is, these are the four numbers in ascending order. And this is it. This is how you would, will be asked questions on uh, arranging thing numbers in order. There are three different types and that's it. I'll prepare a worksheet for you to practice on it now. So guys, thank you. Bye-bye. Happy learning. Enjoy.